And finally and thirdly, don't forget to thank God for his spiritual blessings. Ten lepers came to Jesus. They asked him if he would heal them. Jesus blessed them and sent them on their way. As they were walking to see the priest, according to Jesus' instructions, they looked down and guess what? They saw that they were healed. One of the ten, just one, was so amazed he ran back to Jesus and threw himself at his feet and said, Thank you, Lord. And Jesus received his thanks, but also said, do you remember what he said? Where are the other nine? We're not ten cleansed. Leprosy was and is a dread disease. But my friends, you and I have been cleansed by Jesus from a far more malignant affliction. Evil that is embedded right inside of us. The Bible calls it sin. Jesus' death on the cross is what enables us to be cleansed from that evil. If Jesus has not cleansed you, then you and I could not be forgiven. You and I could not know God. You and I would not be able to enjoy one hour of one day in paradise if Jesus had not done that for you and me. My friends, forgiveness and eternity, you will find nothing under your tree this Christmas that is equivalent to that gift. And it doesn't stop there, but Jesus then promises to come alongside you and to teach you to stop doing the things that need forgiveness. To teach you to live and to love like Him. Oh, never stop thanking Him for the spiritual blessings that He has given to us.